welcome to another old boy 40k tv bat report uh battle report uh i'm going to show you the armies now it's a 1500 point game black Trumpet versus blood angels it is them as well and dawn of war deployment now for the black Templars we have a 19 man crusader squad Aegis line venerable dread with twin link lars missile hunters uh, missile launcher and tank hunters five man consider scrub a last cannon quad gun three bikes all with plasma guns fred with twin lars another crusader squad 19 man with the empress champion and over here we have two reserve land speeders what angels what do you got i got a 10 man assault squad, just basic. Uh, two predators with auto cannons and sponsors of last cannons. Uh, in reserve, the in reserve I uh, have a Storm Raven with uh, Hurricane Boulders, Twin Link Multi Melder, and Twin Link Last Cannon. Uh, a five man squad of assault terminators with lightning claws. Uh, another 10 man squad, assault squad, this time with two Melter Guns and the Sergeant with a Power Fist. Uh, a eight man death squad, death company led by Recluse York in a drop pod. And what's the drop pod? The drop pod has the, uh, her, uh, the, the, the death wind launcher. Okay, so there we go. We've just ruled for <coughs> um, traits. I've got a pointless one that gives counter attack in my own deployment zone, and I'm only playing the marshal on the gun, so that's completely pointless. You've got marks of defense. Yes. Was that? It's a movable object. It's a movable a, object. So the warlord is a scoring unit. HQ can score, and that is the recluse arc. Um, Blood Angels won the initiative, so they deployed first. Uh, Black Templars are now going to try and steal initiative. So here we go for the steal. Eight to four. Okay, Blood Angels will go first. Uh, see then at turn one. Okay, top of the middle of turn one, Blood Angels just, Blood Angels has just turned, uh, the drop pod came in, dropped the template on there, it scattered off, killed one of the bikes, three of the neophytes. This, this uh, tank here pulled out and shot me Venerable Dread, even with the reroll it exploded. And that's the first one I played the Venerable Dread in six, and that's the reason why, because it's crap. Um, and that's the end of turn one. So now it's Black Templar's turn one. Okay, uh, bottom of turn one, top of turn two, this is what's happened. Terrible turn for the Templars. Um, lost an entire bike squad, what a dangerous terrain. Um, the Templars failed for a four inch charge, so they didn't get into combat, and the Death Company wiped up the last bike. Venerable Dread went down to a lucky shot from a last cannon. This squad ran up, and that's pretty much it. The ring just turned two, want to come. At the end of the turn two, uh, Tuck has pushed up and ran. The Terminators with the Lightning Claws deep struck in. Two. Sorry? Middle of turn two. Middle of turn two, yeah, Tuck has to go. Pred fired at that squad, that Pred fired at that squad, and they went to the ground, did one wound. Marshall fired the cannon at them, that deep second unit. They blew up the Predator, so the Predator and the Vendrod have now gone without firing the shot. This combat got okay up here. That much jumping the Recluse Yacht were a challenge, and the Death Company are down to two, and the Crusader Squad are down to four. And what we turn to now, and um, what to come. Okay, bottom of turn two is where we are. The Templars here pushed up into the graveyard or the ruin or whatever it is. Shot the Termies, did two wounds. They failed their leadership and ran, which means I failed my charge because of it. It's a crap rule. Um, he come in and shot the Pred, destroyed it. Only had two, two uh, hull points left. Over here, this fight got res almost got resolved. Uh, Emma's champion spanked the Recluse York. The Crusader squad got rid of the Death Company down to one man. There is eight 
eight of that, eight, eight of the assault squad that deep struck in is left with two metal guns and a power fist still and the assault squad there are still holding the point in reserves to come in we still have a land speeder and a storm raven of course want to come okay and the blood angels turn three the storm raven came in and loaded everything of this squad and killed three men there was one near fighting there made seven four pluses <laughs> against the storm bowlers uh, the hurricane bowlers sorry terminators regrouped and didn't do much else this prayed fired everything like that hit with one last cannon and immobilized it but didn't destroy it so it can still fire back these are no longer gone to ground so these can fire at normal Marshall's still on the gun, although I think he's going to get charged by this squad. Um, his unit is still holding that point. And we finished off the Death Company here. And this squad are now free to uh, move. Okay, end of turn three. Black Templars turn three. Uh, Templars moved up here. Rolled terrible three for the terrain test. But took up another Terminator. They have a group fully now, though. Uh, charge needed 10, roll a 6, nothing happened. The immobilised land speeder tried to fire everything in the side armour, did, did nothing, didn't even glance it. Um, they moved off and out, away from the uh, drop pod, the Deathwind launcher. They moved up and didn't assault because they're scared of the marshal. And uh, that's the end. Oh, reserves didn't come in, the land speeder over there. And but it's coming next turn, that's the end of turn 3. Did you try and assault? You did try and assault. Kind of. I, I, the heart wasn't in it. It will be then. So, end of Blood Angels turn four. Um, these pushed up and they got charged by the Lightning Claw Terminator. The Predator finally took up the uh, Land Speeder. The Storm Raven zoomed over here. And unloaded at the last cannon squad, which went to the ground, made, made some saves but fell back. It's now here, so one guy left. These charged the, the marshal, the marshal issued the challenge to the sergeant, sergeant accepted, marshal cut him down with his power sword. Okay, that's the end of turn four for the Templars. Um, things are looking slightly better. We have, they dispatched the final Terminator. The he's regrouped, but he's still there. The fight here, uh, the, he took up the sergeant in a challenge, then took up three, was it three or four more? Three more. Um, they didn't wound him, it was tip of armor. They moved into the ruins. The final speeder came in, took up one of them guys, got in the unit, and that is that. Okay, here we are in turn five. Uh, pins are going quick now. So the assault squad that were there, did they run away? No, no, the, the They made a tactical themselves. withdrawal no, so that this squad, yeah, they made a tactical position from inside there, where they were reachable on the charge by them, to here. They're still holding the point. Um, the Storm Raven flew over here, fired everything into this squad and killed one Marine. That was that. That was a slap fest. Uh, Predator took out your land speeder. Oh yeah, yeah. The Predator did take out the land speeder. I feel as jinx. He's wrecked. This is a slap fest. The marshal is fighting the four guys, and no resolution there. That's the end of the Blood Angels turn five. Black Templars turn five. More to come. Okay, we are at the end of turn five now. It's Black Templars turn five. These pushed up here. They have to get that green dice to contest the objective. So they're pretty close. Um, last kind of man moved back in. He's holding that objective, but in this combat, he's still contesting because he's within three inches, even though the marshals took down almost the entire squad by himself. They run up. They're within charge and range of that squad as well. If we go to turn six, um, Predator's there. As it stands now, the Blood Angels will win 4 to 1 if it ends on turn 5. Of course, turn 6, then all better off. 
So we're going to roll now for end of turn, end of the game. You want to roll? Yeah. What's it end up? It goes on then a three, three, four, or five. Three, four, five. So one or two it ends. Game goes up in round six. Okay, that's the end of turn six uh, for the Templars. Um, Templars are at the dice, which means they are contesting the point that's, that's three inches from the Blood Angels point. Blood Angels conga lane to avoid the charge, as you can see. After dominating the early player. Marshall finished off the squad there, holding the point, contesting the point. Current score is 2 to 1, Black Templars, Linebreaker and Slayer D Warlord. Five. Oh, yeah, 5 to 1, just holding the point. Um, and we roll now. 1, 2, or 3, game ends. Game was up to turn 7. Okay, on the Blood Angels turn 5. Uh, that tank shocked the Marines. And then fired its auto cannons and last cannons backwards out and did a couple of wounds. The assault squad finally got some courage and left forward, shooting the Black Templars <laughs> and then assaulting them. And you can see the result there. Three or four of three or four of the assault marines went down. Yeah. And then about eight of the Templars went down. Um, he took out the scoring man there. We need to reach the green dice to contest. And it is currently, as it stands now, um, 3 to 2 to the Blood Angels. Okay, that's the end of the game, turn 7. Uh, it is a victory for the Black Templars. Closer than we all thought. 2 points to 1, which is the. It's 5 points to 1. Oh, yes, sorry, 5 points to 1. Slit the Warlord. Line breaker for the line breaking unit down there, and that killer's recluse York. He has first blood. Because he was in this combat, he was forced to pile in, so he was no longer contesting that point. So that unit get the full points for that. Um, started off really well for the Blood Angels, and as it turns out, the unit that got best beasted by the Death Company at the start of the drop pod are the ones that have won the game. That's gone there, there's no one holding the Black Templars point. Predator survived at the end of the game, very rare. Um, overall, a great game. There's four Black Templars left on the field, there's five Blood Angels, a tank, and a flyer. Oh, and the Marshal. And a drop pod. And a drop pod. Uh, but that was a great game. Moving for the Templars. Um, way, way closer than we thought. Are you contesting? Yeah, you are. So it's 2-1. 2-1. It's a 2-1 victory to the Black Templars. Very close. Dirty Black Templars. Very close. Cool Black Templars. That was a great game. Uh, thanks very much, Lee.